Hello Toastmasters, uh, yes, it's making Toastmasters great again. Now my, my journey actually started in Scotland. Uh, when I was on an adventure in Scotland, I thought I'll go to the local Toastmasters, but unfortunately I didn't make it. So if you're not right there, Dorothy. A lot of, um, uh, it's, it's not a great picture that's all, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll carry on. Uh, well anyway. Three months ago, I found myself in the great city of New York, where I went to New York Toastmasters. And that is where I got the idea of making Toastmasters great again. Uh, well, the first thing I did was um, I had to sign up online. There is a six month waiting list to join, just even to visit NYC Toastmasters. <coughs> so I did all that, got a nice response, um, went into the club, and the first thing I noticed was we had our President, uh, Vice President of Membership, yes, wait in there with a hat. They had, they had like, like Toastmasters uniform. He was there greeting all 60 guests. There were 60 guests in a room that was no bigger than this. That was 60 people. So they were just absolutely packed out. We then proceeded with the meeting. And I will need some audience participation on this. Wojtek, stand up and say something positive about Toastmasters. And I've asked everyone to say a hell yeah afterwards. Well, Toastmasters actually is one of my best experiences in my life. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, I was like, uh, what am I, what am I in, a, in, a, in a rally? What's going on here? And then, they, and then the president started um, doing yoga exercises. And it's like, am I, am, am I in the yoga class? I'm supposed to be in Toastmasters. Then they recited the mission statement. Now I'm going to have to ask for the ladies of the room to stand up, please. And repeat after me. To create meticulous public speaking excellence. To create meticulous public speaking excellence. With a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now I'm going to have to ask the, la the lads to stand up. <laughs> and repeat after me. Where leaders are made. Where, Where leaders, leaders are, are made. made. Uh, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, 60 members there was such a mm -hmm. riotous hell yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Can we see? Yes, be seated. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gladys, if you could say something positive about yourself, please. Uh, followed by hell yeah. I'm a smiley person. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> And then we went into the into the meeting. Now, obviously, you know, it's it's very structured the same. We had the Toastmasters introduce the various roles. Um, we started with the grammarian role was the first role, and actually, I noticed that the grammarian role was intertwined with the aha counter. So they didn't have an um ah counter in in the actual meeting, which was actually very different. Which is the first thing I noticed. One thing they also did was, if I was to use the word meticulous, they'll do they they'll clap their fingers. So, if I say the word meticulous, they they click their fingers. Now, after a while, that actually got very irritating. That was not something I thought was very good at making Toastmasters great right again. We then went on to what I thought would be the speeches. But no, fellow Toastmasters, we went straight onto the table topics. We did the table topics now. How do we do table topics here? We sometimes we pick people at random, or we'll go and ask. Well, what they did is they just said, right, Rose, you're doing table topics. Bev, you're not doing table topics, because you're, yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, and they would do the table topics first, then afterwards they would come along and when you had your votes, so they would ask each member of those table topics to then stand up and give a brief synopsis on their table topic speech. Then we went on to the speeches. Now this was very interesting, something I'd actually like to see more in Two North Arts, is that when they gave their speech, the evaluator would come up 
and give a small bio on the speaker. Now, I did write myself a small bio, obviously, because I have my own method. So my bio is I am a Toastmaster, world traveller, runner, evil genius, and a part-time bummer. <laughs> now, they do allow swearing, as long as it's not excessive, which is why I just use that particular word. Um, yes, a brief summary. So we... Sorry. Uh, now, when we got to the role, as I said, grammarian, they, yeah, it did not come across with the use of perhaps the word of the day. That was down to the Toastmaster, okay, the word of the day. And the grammarian didn't, as we do, look for the way we do our speech, the structure. They were just really looking for the ums and ahs. So it's like, the role was kind of redundant. Also, we had a vote counter collector. That was an actual role to come collect your votes. And when we came to the evaluators, the evaluators were introduced by the general evaluator of the night. So instead of Tom coming up and introducing me as an evaluator, it was the general evaluator that did that role. And then that, that was, that was uh, the meeting. It was done. They then pulled me aside and asked me what I thought, as, as I introduced myself as a Toastmaster from the UK, and they asked me for any feedback they could take to make their club better. And the one thing they did do with the evaluators was, where we go and sit out outside and have a meeting within a meeting, they didn't. They just stand up and gave their own evaluation. So my recommendation to them was have a separate meeting within a meeting. And the things I'd like to see happen in our Toastmasters is for the bios, the little, the little speech bios mm -hmm. that we give before we give, give our speech. Mr. Toastmaster.